Good morning everyone. I've decided to do this by video. The screen on my phone is buggered. I can type on it a little bit, but typing at any length is uh, proven difficult. I do have a laptop with a functioning keyboard, but the screen on that is gubbed, and that requires a cable out to the television and an amount of footing around it. I have neither the inclination nor the energy to undertake at the moment. Um, Caroline started showing symptoms of what we suspect is coronavirus on Monday. She had been working with a patient who at that point hadn't been exhibiting symptoms but subsequently was tested and was the result came back that she was positive and sadly that lady actually subsequently passed away. Um, Caroline was right in the hot pocket of working with that woman without any PPE and sure enough the sort of projected time scale of around nine days was, was just about bang on with regards to Caroline getting the symptoms herself. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it was a couple of days later before I started feeling shitty but it's now looking like we've won the jackpot and both of us are now exhibiting symptoms. Um, I don't require the legal, or I don't, I don't have the the medical jargon that's required to explain this. But in layman's terms, I've just uh, my lungs are on fire. I've got a persistent cough. I feel as if I've been kicked in the kidneys by a Shire horse, and it feels like someone has taken my blood and replaced it with a junkie's piss. Um, it's a horrible, horrible feeling, and not not to put too fine a point on it, I'm faring considerably better at this stage than what Caroline is. So, if you know Caroline and care about her, and her Facebook is com completely redundant now, so please don't try to talk to her on that, because it's some other cunt that's got control of that at the moment. But keep her in your thoughts, because she's, she's really, really quite ill at the moment. So Caroline reported to her employer that she was feeling the symptoms. Just to give you a quick example, someone else at her work that she spoke to privately reported symptoms on the Friday, was tested on the Saturday and had the results on the Monday, which is which is fantastic. It's about as good as you can hope for, really. So when Caroline reported it and we waited and waited for a response and didn't get one, she chased it up. And only then was she given an assurance that she would be referred that evening. Um, that's not a criticism of Caroline's employers. It's difficult times for everyone. It was disappointing on a personal level that there didn't appear to be any parity with regards to how some people were being treated and how others were being treated. I'm happy to report that the, the girl who was seen very, very quickly, her, her test came back negative, so great. You wouldn't wish for any other outcome than that. Um, what's been slightly confusing thereafter is we are now being asked to, tra to travel to Glasgow Airport for the drive-through testing there. There's drive-through testing at Crosshouse Hospital, which is about a 15-minute drive from where we live. Uh, Glasgow Airport's not a million miles away, but it's a 40-minute drive, so you're turning what could have been a 40 or 50 mile, or 40 or 50 minute, I beg your pardon, round trip into one that's going to probably take a couple of hours. Now, given that I barely had the energy to pull this beanie hat on this morning, that's already feeling like it's going to be a tall order. Um, we're not allowed to take public transport, but I mean, not that we would. My honest opinion is, and I'm not criticising anyone who thinks otherwise, but if anyone's been getting on a bus or a train since any time after the 10th of March, I would consider that to be extremely risky, and I wouldn't. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, countenance doing such a thing. I haven't been anywhere or into any other public building since round about when the Rangers Leverkusen game took place, which I chose not to go to. Um, so yeah, a bit confusing. <coughs> <coughs> I do apologise. A bit confusing that we're being asked to travel so far when we're neither of us feeling really all that up for it. Um, but at least we're getting tested and we'll find out one way or the other. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I'll be giving an update later on because I'm not going to be proud. We're going to be having to ask people around about us to, to help us, especially with the wee dog 
if I've got this shit, then I won't be allowed to fucking step over the door and my dog needs walked. So we could try and come to some sort of arrangement with people who enjoy that. I don't want to force it on anyone, but there's probably someone out there who thinks that a wee half hour with a hank probably wouldn't be a bad way to spend some of your day. But we'll come to that as and when it comes up. Anyway, I hope everyone out there is staying safe and uh, yeah, take care of yourself. I'll speak to you all again soon.